Hi and good afternoon. It's a beautiful afternoon in the city of Dallas and I wanted to have just a simple conversation with us probably for the next 20 minutes. I hope that you can hear me. Hi, awesome people joining. Good afternoon to all of us. I think that it's going to be a long weekend. I am aware that in countries like Nigeria, Monday and Tuesday have been declared a public holiday. So you've got some days to yourself, to your soul. Thank you for confirming that you can hear me loud and clear. As the president of the Fluffy Life Association, we do not shout. You know, we're feminine CEOs, we're not boss ladies. And the name feminine CEO belongs to somebody else who has trademarked it. So if you like it, just like it. Don't go close to it because in the U.S. they sue people to court <laughs> and it's owned by an American. You know, so feminine CEOs, you know, we just talk calmly. We pass our messages across calmly. We don't shout. We're not boss ladies. We don't do drama. We're just who we are. So... Please tell your friends to join the family meeting. Dr. Ugochi, I see you, I see Forex. There are some names that look like tongues. Forex Zomori or some people will be okay. Hey, Bisoyo Koli. Bisoyo is one of my money managers. Bisoyo, when are you going to start giving me allowance? Haven't I been well behaved enough? Ah, when people are doing well, you even encourage them. Good to see all of us. Good to see us. So today's conversation is going to be tagged. Um, where is your ego standing in the way? Where is your ego standing in the way? I have come to observe and understand that there are some relationships that are resting in peace. Not because they are meant to rest in peace, but because when we had a conflict or a disagreement instead of discussing it we decided to move on so there's some flavors of people people you can have discussions with and people you will or may not be able to have discussions with but i'm talking about genuinely good people your friends your colleagues you know that they are good like they are really 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 good people but somewhere along the line, both of you had an argument or a conflict or disagreement and it became some form of closure. Like you have done what you call an emotional burial for the friendship. There are some friendships that you must initiate conversations and you must have conversations. You know, it's not every time you cut people off. You know, let's stop cutting people off like branches. There are some people you must walk away from. I totally agree. But there are some people that you and I know that the only reason why you have stopped talking or having conversations is because both of you decided not to reach each other. And it is just because of ego. Do you understand? Just because of what that thing is. Ego is that thought pattern part third party or the third person that nobody has ever seen but somewhere along the line very controlling very domineering and ego is just that one thing that messes up a lot of things now sometimes we're actually even waiting for the first person to apologize the first person to call the other person this and that and i categorically say that we need to be careful with how we handle people. We need to be very careful. It is not everything that we think that we will say. You know, sometimes we take pleasure in the capacity to hurt people, say rubbish, use words. And then sometimes we're even very happy about it. Oh, you know, you just, you just spill a lot of things. As you grow older, one thing is supposed to be clear, which is wisdom. And it's not a sign of gray hair. Wisdom is the capacity to preserve relationships. You know, I see a lot of anyhowness. You know, people just talk to people anyhow. They just open their mouth. They just do stuff. And I'm like, even God respects relationships. If you look at the creation and how everything was created, there's absolutely nothing God did that he didn't use people. 
So he created and all of that. And the moment he rested, he started investing in the structure called people. He started investing in humans. But here we are, we are misbehaving up and about. We talk to people anyhow. We mess up with lots of things. Mr. Nia, this one, I called you on your birthday. But because the love was so much, I saw that you were having a party, enjoying your life. You know, um, it just rang out. So I just thought that I should let you know that um, I didn't forget your birthday. You are too important for me to forget. And you are such a very, very good older brother and soul. I am just waiting for the day that you will have mercy on me and put me on allowance. Like this president of Fluffy Life Association. Like, start pampering me, please. You are one of our role models. The future you people even described. What if I discount? <laughs> when I was young, they said, you used to say about the future of tomorrow or something. <laughs> we are still dragging future. People in their seventies are dragging future with people in their days. Could you hear me more by Edjo? Sani Adesonya, transgenerational leader. Help me. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. So good to see all of us um, showing up today. Mr. Desanya um, had his birthday, you know, recently, and he's such, such, such a good pillar to a lot of people in the industry. You know, so if you're above 50, like I said earlier on, I will go back to my message, but God said I should drop this. <laughs> if you're above 50, like I said, please hug anybody less than 38. 39 or 40, leave them alone. I added my age, you know. <laughs> Please hug anybody less than 38. The future they painted for us in primary school <laughs> that we used to sing to and match and be licking sweet and bubble gum and they come on go on, you know, and M and K, you know, um goody goody. That future <laughs> that future is now looking powerful. <laughs> and your need to be alone. So when you hug us, pray for us and most especially give us credit a lot. It's a long weekend. And then especially singles. Singles are single in a pandemic dealing with bad leadership, inflation, and so many other things. <laughs> you know, we need as much love as possible. So if you're above 50, please, we are not dragging future or anything. <laughs> you are decades away from us. You may not be able to understand what it is. <laughs> and as president of Prophet Life Association, I just said that I should beg in the name of the Most High, please. The fact that all of us are CEOs does not mean that we're all age mates. <laughs> Me, I'm very humble. <laughs> I'm not dragging anything with anybody. Do you understand? <laughs> because this one is my role model. That's why I'm looking for allowance. If you are above 50, pamper anybody less than 38. As a matter of urgency, our mental health is being attacked. <laughs> I just say I should drop it. That's the word of wisdom. So let's proceed with today's conversation. I was talking about ego and how ego has made some important relationship rest in peace you know every argument has become some form of closure and i think that sometimes we don't understand how important people are and maybe if we do we also do not understand how valuable conversations are i see that some of us run away from conversations once there's an issue you disappear and then we hide under the disguise that, eh, you know, when you are running, you know, when you are high and mad, come, you're not a mad person. So let's even leave that. And, eh, you know, you know, you know some, yes, I know that there's a time to discuss and then there's a style of discovery. But more than ever before, conversations are key. You know, sometimes when I look at what I've done in the past, I am embarrassed. Embarrassed because... It is a sign of growth to look at how you malfunctioned earlier and be able to say, wow, now I am wiser and I will do this differently this time around. And for some of us who still speak negatively to our spouses, our children, our friends, it's a sign of a broken inner child. You know, it is not normal for you to hurt people. And when you hurt people consistently, it's not normal. You know, that's the reason why I can never understand why people cheat on their spouses. And what I mean by that is, this person is good to you and all of that. And somewhere along the line, you know that cheating breaks them, it destroys them, and you proceed to do it. You can cheat once and make a mistake, I totally understand. But if cheating is a habit, then we need to fix it. Because it is not normal that someone will sacrifice their life 
to go on an unknown journey with you a journey where they are not sure if you will prosper they're just hoping that you will and in sickness and in health in shame and in prosperity in disgrace and grace they vouched to be there for you but somewhere along the line i don't understand So there are so many things that we should do and people preservation is key, but people preservation is from self-preservation. If you lack self-respect, you will not be able to preserve people. Recently, one of the richest people on earth was said to have, <coughs> he just gave birth again, that's his ninth child, I think with three or four whatever women. And you know, he further emphasizes the fact that you can be very intelligent and need emotional intelligence. You can be a genius and at the same time be very disturbing. Like you can be externally successful and internally disturbed. And that is the reason why it is crucial that we reparent our inner child. It is not normal for you to be in your 50s and you're just moving up and about, you know, like at that age, people are even thinking that you should have retired. But that's when your masculinity woke up. That's when the boy in you now needs expression. Are you serious? If you are just expressing yourself sexually in your 50s, then you can see that there's a disconnect. You know, just flat, try and flip it. You know, it's like women just moving up and down. If it's something a old woman sleeping around, you know how funny it will look. That's how it looks to us also, the opposite gender. At 56, you just now decided that, oh, okay, now I have an erection. And then anybody who can participate in it will be blessed. It's not a normal endeavor. So we need to pay more attention to how we preserve people, preserve our friends. I know that there's a popular saying that, oh, um, when you, if you are somewhere, somewhere, and then you are not growing. You know, there's, there's these motivational conversations about, eh, um, leave your friends um, if you are something something you are not growing leave them this kind of this one this and that I think I understand the perspective they are coming from but I thought that I should also let you know that all this campaign of leave people leave people leave people one day you will just take stock and you will see that you are not only alone you are lonely people are dying alone right now and I thought you should know especially men men in their 60s they are dying alone you know why they didn't treat their wives well so they ended up with a separation and a divorce and of course because they didn't treat their wives well they didn't have a relationship with their children so now they are in their 60s dealing with one illness or the other and then no child is connected to them no spouse is connected to them men are dying alone above 60 go and ask them they misbehaved when they were young i work as a therapist a psychologist and across countries and i have the data there are so many things we can't say it's the little we can say that we'll share but go and google it they are dying alone when they were younger they were misbehaving sowing wild oats using their erection as a form of testimony now they have finished the entire wild oats the sack is dry. Do you understand? And then they are now looking for nannies in old age. Children don't know who their parents are because they never had a relationship. And then they now want to emotionally blackmail. And if you've studied the children of nowadays, you can't use emotional blackmail for anybody. If you don't raise any child, no child will be there for you. They don't have time in this generation. It is the generation above 50 and 40 who will still be saying, hey, honor your father and mother. This once. They are rewriting scripture. They will honor you from afar. They don't have time. If you did not raise them, you will not benefit from the result of parenting. So all this emotional scam people want to be doing that you will misbehave. You will now come back and say that hey, I was the one who gave birth to you. You will now be using your hand to touch your breast and say hey, you sucked. Who? Oh. Our gen this generation is not well. I thought I should tell you. I thought I should tell you. So let's just be arranging ourselves and be doing well. 
if you are here, you are still taking your spouse for granted. Stroke, high blood pressure and those things. Don't write letters to people. God is still about to give us a solution to cancer. Do you understand? So if you think that you will go and enjoy your best life, you will now come back to one woman that you abandoned during your best life to be taking care of you. You now want to be using Proverbs 31 woman to be scripting her. My darling, you will not... You will die alone. I won't lie to you. So all this bad behavior we're all doing where we would abandon our friends who were there for us when we were nothing. All of a sudden, you now have small accent because you went to the embassy and came back. Not that you even traveled out. You went to the embassy and came back. Some of us, let's even say we even traveled. All your friends that believed in you when you yourself didn't believe in yourself. All of a sudden, now they are not good enough because you have gone to one Ivy League you are not, uh, you know, you are the equivalent of the three closest people around uh, around you. You are now coming with some motivational word. <laughs> Have you visited hospital recently? Go and see how people are there alone with YouTube and TikTok. Go and see it. All those friends that you call achievers and high-profile friends, the day you need them, they they are very busy. Oh. All those your high profile friends that you are using as a status symbol they are usually very busy when you are ill they will send you money the gift of presence they won't show up oh. Oh, when you die they will pick a show because you are a project to them you will train for 24 hours after 24 hours everybody will move hope you have noticed even christmas trains for just 24 hours so the most high his birthday is one day do you understand? I'm not talking of you. So all these things that we are all doing, let's respect people. This ego spirit that you are throwing your weight around. You know, even sometimes when we are praying, say God should show up and throw his weight around. God doesn't have those self esteem. Doesn't have time. If he throws his weight, will you stand? If the Most High attempts to throw his weight, you will you stand? It is not every relationship you will walk away from. I have friends who are very useful to me and they call me to order. There's even one here. When I become a billionaire, she will still not have respect for me. Her name is Toyin Songu. <laughs> I've known Toyin for about 19 years. <laughs> Toyin will correct me in Yoruba, she will correct me in English. <laughs> in fact, sometimes the correction starts with <laughs> Pastor Doctor. Other times, Wo, Oinko. <laughs> Other times, Ah. There's no language. Tony will correct me in correct me in English. Sometimes you correct me in tongues. <laughs> do you understand? Tony is so is something else. But I would rather do this life with her than without her. There's one that is called praise for Owe. <laughs> if you follow praise, <laughs> you will know that there's no way you will not be a savior or an ancestor. <laughs> do you understand? In fact, when Prince and I are talking, I usually tell him, Prince, I'm supposed to be talking to you just once a month. You are not good company. <laughs> because when Prince is done talking, I am overwhelmed by his drama. <laughs> I'm like, Prince, you are spoken for the month. Even though we chat almost daily, you must have those friends who can call you to order. Do you understand? Who can tell you that? You can be most high on social media to us. You are very normal. And you are misbehaving. The richest man on earth, nobody can talk to him. In his 50s, he's, he's just discovering himself. <laughs> like he's discovering himself. I can't even, I can't even understand. You know, just imagine me at 56, sleeping around. It's not supposed to be normal. And then you should actually even have friends that can say to you that this is your supposed weakness. Let's try and fix it. Because at this level, you should not be operating like this. But of course, they will even play around it because it's very normal. It is not every relationship you will walk away from. This is a long holiday. The people you want to go and apologize to, apologize to them, send them a message. I know that sometimes when you apologize, you may feel like you will lose your front teeth, 
you know something will happen to you nothing your hair will be normal your eyebrow will be normal your lip gloss will still be well you know you are not going to be crippled when you apologize gentlemen listening to me some of you will hurt your wife and then you will still cross your leg in fact they even said that some they can be fighting and still have sex that one is a mystery to me our married children of god are you serious they now even said that it's make up sex this long holiday is a good time to have a mature conversation and then when they apologize to you do not make it look like you have arrived do you understand you make it look like you have arrived there i told you so i knew you were going to come back don't turn yourself into a shrine that they have to be worshiping do you understand when they apologize to you just be calm and have conversations adults have conversations it is not every friendship you will walk away from nah, it's not my business nah, the other people on it the other people on it when you are getting old you will see that peace is crucial and the fact that not everybody is in your corner hope you know that there are some people who don't like you and you have as friends they don't even want you to prosper not to talk about prospering more than them so if you find people who genuinely want you to prosper like told you someone have told her she owes she owes me a unicorn i'm telling you told you owes me a unicorn because i'm going to be on the board you understand and i'm going to be saying that this is my this is our our company you understand there are some friends and Tony and i have gone for 19 years we've gone through different seasons we've harassed each other we've hurt each other we've apologized but we're more like sisters than friends like we're like siblings like she's six hours away timing somewhere in africa i'm somewhere in the yeah, i'm abroad you know but we connect we talk like i just drop gist on her whatsapp she calls me we do brainstorming together like we have conversations from friendship to prayers to brainstorming to different things and friendship is not necessarily easy so forget all the social media whatever people are going to parties doing dancing booga together it is not every time you are going to be in that summer love period or honeymoon period sometimes you're just like ah, you know sometimes something will just happen to both of you like some level of disconnection emotional disconnection you know something will happen you know it is at that point where maturity will set in and then both parties will have conversations oh i didn't like how this was said and then we need to be sure that we're not seeing it from an attacking personality that somebody is attacking you friendship is not easy relationship is not easy marriage is not easy and when i say not easy i also don't mean difficult but i just mean that there are two different people trying to see how they can align and then some of us are stuck in our ways because we're not young imagine people in their 40s you're already rigid and then a part of you feels that your way is the way you know if everybody feels that their way is the way their way is the way their way is the way then how exactly are we going to blend welcome on board to all the good people joining me today you know um, we're talking about how ego has buried relationships and the fact that it is not every relationship you walk away from ego has supervised and officialized i'm not sure if that in english is correct but you know ego has supervised relationships and it has conducted burials the first argument we just lock up it's a sign of a broken inner child you don't lock up during arguments you have conversations Oh, Emmanuel bought a badge. Emmanuel, you see, people are buying badges on my wall. You know, when you buy a badge, it's like you're giving me money. You know, just buy badges. Do you understand? Don't let ego stop you from buying badges. <laughs> uh -uh, Emmanuel, I've known Emmanuel for about 20 years. We've crossed different worlds together. Ah, when we were children, we had a church and stuff i'm going to be starting a church in the us in dallas i'll tell you about it later on but trust me i will be starting a church it will start from online into the uh, 
in-person church how do you buy a badge just find out i think there's a love button that people buy badges from or stuff yeah i just like to be appreciated you know and stuff so um we need to start having conversations with our friends with our you know people close to us people around us different sets of people we need to start having conversations like it is not you don't work out of relationships just like that i see it on social media any little thing you know somebody upsets you or offends you and that's the end and then you will say cancel culture you know and i'm wondering cancel culture as per what as per teacher or what what are you really canceling? What did they even do to you that they are canceling? You are canceling people. Maybe sometimes we even have this overrated whatever of ourselves. In many cases, you just cancel people. And as what school principal, you are marking score, you are canceling. What's going on? It is children that cancel. When people hurt you, just go and be calm. Rethink the conversation and look at what role you played in it. You know, look at what role you played in it. People are cancelling churches and senior pastors. You are cancelling your bosses. You are cancelling colleagues. You are cancelling friends. You are cancelling girlfriend. You are cancelling your um, relatives. Put a sibling at a parent. You know, you just cancel anybody, everybody, and you are remaining alone. <laughs> you haven't seen life. <laughs> I'm telling you. You know, I paid visits to hospitals and before I left Africa, I used to also visit people who had terminal diseases, including children. I used to, um, on Christmas Day, one of these Christmas days, I went to the child section of the hospital at GRA Ikeja. This Ikeja on that bridge, I can't remember what it's called, maybe last week or something, one of those um, places. And then I was at a section where they had children who were dealing with cancer and they were less than five. Like under five. And I got in and we distributed gifts. It was myself and some other people. We distributed gifts, distributed money. But I could not fathom it how children less than five were dealing with cancer. Their parents were there. You know, and... You can't understand what it is to need people until you genuinely need them. Go and ask people who lost their parents and how many people were there for them. And people don't, um, people are not away from you because they hate you. They just don't even know that you need them. And that comes to the conclusion that enough of this I'm a strong person, I'm a strong man and a strong woman, I'm independent. And this is also for men. You know, I'm not sure how many men understand how to ask for help. Men, reach out to ask for help if you need help. All this macho, whatever, you will just die alone and nobody will know you were going through anything. For women, especially entrepreneurs or women raised by single mothers who operated more at the masculine level than feminine where you are still doing boss lady i've never used that title before in my life i don't even know what it means people just come up with english boss lady if it's not boss lady it's after is it's kilo if it's not boss lady it is independent woman then they want to spoil your life they will not say black independent women they say, just leave me alone please please I'm not independent if I'm interdependent. I'm not, I spend other people's money. Do you understand? People buy badges here. The badge is even small money. I think it's maybe 20 cents or something. It's less than $1. Do you understand? I'm not independent too. I am very interdependent. So if you are using me as a role model, it is very strong. Come me and you are not dragging any level of strength just respect yourself leave me to be weak and I say, the bible says you are not weak i'm not dragging it just go and use scripture for yourself i will use my scripture the way i want to use it don't stress me because all this unnecessary uh, um uh, what do they even say you know um boss women are achievers they are high kinikon kinikon 
when you succeed in real life, you will not go back home. There's a level you will get to where hugging pillow will not make sense and hugging teddy bear. In fact, even if you buy teddy bear your size, it will still not help you. Sometimes you just want to be touched. Do you understand? And kissed. Do you understand? You just want a living soul, a mere mortal with blood to just minister to you. Somebody is asking me, hey, did you do singles connect? <laughs> it's like, hey, people even want to turn me to matchmaker. People send me DM also. Do I match make people? I have not heard from the most high. But I just thought that you should, I should let you know. If you are a female CEO, feminine CEO, as April will call it, if you are a feminine CEO and you are using boss lady to destroy your life, let them touch you and kiss you. And I did not say that you should go and have sex. So I did not say so because Emma Bereni. Let them even hug you. Do you understand? Let them kiss your soft lips. And it's the will of God. Even Judas the betrayer kissed the savior. Do you understand? As you are doing deadline today, Excel sheet tomorrow, you are writing proposals up and down, submitting proposal, you are carrying placard, we are the women of Nigeria, we are the future of tomorrow. I'm not able to do any woman of Nigeria, any woman of I'm not even in Nigeria, I don't live there. I'm not able to do any future of tomorrow. I just want to be pampered in this life. Please, please, let's, re let's respect ourselves. I'm not doing. You will go and make all the money. You will not be spending the money alone. You will cook, you will eat alone. <laughs> do you understand? Go swearing. When last did you even go out? Long holiday like this, you're already looking for how to be eating alone. Everything you want to do during your holiday is money. I'm not saying you should not work for money. Work for money. If you desire companionship, the same energy you are investing for money, invest it for your companionship. Go out too, because your husband is not an arm robber. He won't break in. Go out. Be taking strolls. In summer time, wear your bomb shorts. Let the grace of God be seen in your construction. Don't I don't want to be hearing that you are alone and lonely when you have the capacity to change it. Gentlemen and women, the people on my world, the people should have entered each other's DM to marry each other, but no. You want to be very rigid. Like a Nepal pole. Pity Loma quickly and all that thing that gives you people light. I've forgotten the name. You just want to be rigid, electric shock. Better take it easy. All of us have grown now. Do you understand? All things have passed away. Now be soft. Soft men, soft women. Somebody like Emmanuel. Now Emmanuel is in the US. He's single. His handle is Emmanuel the Great. Emmanuel, then D, then great. Go and enter his DM. Send your picture. Emmanuel likes fine women. Fine rich women. No? Go and send your picture. But he will pamper you. Do you understand? I've helped you. Women. Emmanuel the great is in USA. He's single. If he says he's dating, he's lying. Emmanuel the great is single. There are some other people here also who are single. I think people should even be greeting yourself. I did not even say you should go and conduct wedding tomorrow. Be greeting yourselves. You see, there's a man here who says he's single, proudly King TJ. That one has been single since I knew him on this wall. You see, Germans have come up. If you are in Germany, male and female connect, you see. Let Emmanuel to locate you. Don't go and locate Emmanuel. If you are single, speak now or forever hold your peace. If you are single, speak. Single men, come and marry wife or they are on my wall. The moment they act any hour like this, we will remove them from fulfill life association. We don't have emotional doubt amongst us. Come and marry wife and husband. Ah, ah. People will be using Kemi Adeti as a point of contact. You will still not go and look for spouse. Didn't you see Kemi's wedding? King of boys. Queen of pampering. Balanced diet. <laughs> Do you understand? Ah, ah, always represent. Did you see her engagement pictures? It didn't be like a movie. I was the first picture I saw I had to speak in thoughts. Ah! Le produzante la cabujataya. I'm telling you. It didn't be like 
What is this movie is there? Um, Bridget. <laughs> All those I born for you kind of image. <laughs> Very balanced woman. Walk. 10 over 10. Romance, 10 over 10. Get me left all of you to be single alone. <laughs> I'm telling you. People are here, say, independent woman. I am not dear with you. Hope you know I've left you people since. I'm very fluffy. Feminine CEO, don't stress me. Hmm? Go and look for who will be cuddling you at night. All of you are buying teddy bears since childhood. You have been changing the size of the teddy bears since the one you now have is life size teddy bear, like your size. Teddy bear or shell is not going to work. The same energy you are investing in business and in work, let's invest it in relationship. We are not independent women, we are interdependent. And I don't say, I'm not saying you should need a partner. Want it is good to want people, it's not a problem. Be cuddled at night. It's not a sign of desperation. It's just a sign of, you know what, it's alone. It is, it is not good for man to be alone. There's no point proving any point. I'm not here. I'm not part of people who will be saying self made, clinical because I'm not. I don't know them all. You will never see it on my wall. As I am like this, I need everybody in this life. We need people, we need ourselves, and we need to pay attention to kindness. And what is crucial so if you have a relationship or a friendship that ego has buried please find a way to have the conversation with the person especially when both of you are two good people it's okay to share different perspectives or different opinions and then it's not everything we call toxic you know it's not everything ah, she's toxic he's toxic she's toxic no it's not everything you quickly jump at defining or trying to put a label or be in a hurry to cancel people you will need people in life and when you do you don't want to start with oh I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry you will need people in life across board you will need people and to preserve relationships you need to give more than you ask Stop sliding into people's DMs asking for favors. Stop it. When you meet people, stop looking for how to use them. Oh, somebody bought a badge. I'm Miss Courage. Thank you. You're such a darling. I like people giving me gifts. I just like receiving gifts, you know. I'm a woman who needs to be pampered. Do you understand? I like gifts from Pepe Snail to Tesla to anything good, a house on the island. I'm not proving any points. I spend my money, I spend other people's money. Do you understand? Meaning money should not have finish. I spend my money, I spend other people's money. So don't come and say, ah, nah, nah, it. no, I'm not proving any point. Anybody who buys badges is blessing me. Like, I'm just happy. Do you understand? Don't have time. Please. You know, when people say, oh, don't worry, I got it, I'll pay for it. Oh, thank you, darling. Uh, thank you. You let them pamper you. Why are you proving points? It's a sign of brokenness to be proving points to men. No? I've told you. When a man wants to pamper, let them pamper you. When they want to open the door, let them. Oh, let me tell you something. Even people's husbands open the door for me. If a man is beside me, behind me like this, I just move so that they open the door. And I just, oh, thank you. You're such a good man. And I just go. Don't be dragging door like an arm robber. Let them open the door for you. What this one that you will be carrying power on your head. I don't have power. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Me that I send everybody on errand. If you have muzzle like this, your gender is masculine. I'll be male. Ah. I have work for you. I will send you on errand then. Don't, don't stress anybody. Oh. Don't stress men. Men like to be valuable and I have work for them. Here they are, send them. They like it. You will see, eh, 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 a man cannot open the door for you. A man cannot open the door for you. Oh, oh, I'm rubber. Everything is fight. Miss me with the drama, please. Ah, everywhere I go now, they open. In fact, when I'm climbing the staircase, if they invite me to speak anywhere, I want to climb the staircase. I always ask to be helped up this day, so make it. You know, if you, if you fall now, it's broken bone. You know you are not young anymore. You know before you will fall and stand up. Now 
if you attempt to fall, no. And if I wear you, they'll just hold my hand up this thing. When I'm coming down, so they will hold me to come down. Men like it. I also like it. So why are we fighting? Please let somebody's son <laughs> help a fluffy child like me. Women. Because I can see the movement of social media where people are proving points. I am not there with people. Do you understand? Don't follow me with your bad habits. You just leave me alone. If you want to prove points, proving the points, you won't follow me with it. Drop this. <laughs> It's mutual respect we're asking for. We're not looking for mutual, mutual shoulder. Let them pamper you. Let them be playing with your ear. Do you understand? Let them be playing. Um, TJ is here. He's very single. Single to stupor. He said you should send him on as I'm probably king. TJ he has been single since I knew him on this wall. Help is matter. TJ, I hope that your character is good because the way you have been single, you need to attend my workshop. Reparenting your inner child because ah, with a baby single is so gone. I'm just stressing his life. I don't know in his life. You know, so let's you know, let's be fluffy. Finally, is you cannot be a part of my world and still be shouting when you are talking. It's a sign of oluomo agbeironie emotional tautery, emotional suffered anything you will be shouting. After nursery school, after primary school, all the schools you have gone, you are still shouting like a hype man. <laughs> Emmanuel, the event is called Reparenting Your Inner Child. Please check my um, pinned post on my, yeah, on this wall, pinned post. There's a story that I wrote on See Me. Just check the first three posts on my wall. There's a story on See Me. It is about reparenting your inner child workshop. Ben, you said you are single. Please send me a message. Me and you have a conversation. I'm telling you, you will be shouting. Emmanuel and I have known for about 20 years. We have fought at different seasons of our lives. Now we can't fight again. He's buying badges now. The next thing he will buy for me now is a Tesla. Do you understand? He will just pamper me because he knows that that's what somebody like me I just I just need. Ah, ah. I said Ben should send me a message. I know Ben. I bomb you on see me. Ah ah. Somebody even saying why Ben? You even want to do violence on my wall? Ah ah. Moses. Ha. Oh God. You even want to be principal? Ha. Huh. So, any questions? Reparenting Your Inner Child Workshop is happening this month. It is about how I am talking about how we need to fix our broken inner child. And a lot of things are wrong, not because they are wrong with us, but because if we fix them, our lives will be better. We would increase our professional and personal influence. Anybody who knew me before and who knows me now knows that at every point in time, I have changed and I'm changing. And that is the sign of growth. So it is not a, it is not the height of perfection. It is the sign of growth. Growth is daily improvement. You know, growth is daily improvement. So if you are interested in meeting people, I will put it on my wall now for singles the weekend is long you can have a conversation you can have a conversation especially if you're a good man trying to find a good woman have a conversation talk via dms talk on phones take it to video calls and then when they start having a conversation with you please drop that bad habit of what are you wearing send me pictures if your calling is not a photographer stop that spirit of pornography all those, what are you wearing? Send me pics. You know, all those, mm -mm, stop, stop those dirty things. They are meeting you for the first day. You're asking them what they are wearing. They are putting on the full armor of God. That's what they are wearing. The full armor of God. Ah, ah. Please. People should slide into each other's DMs. There's no hook up here. I'm a full-blown child of God, ordained as a pastor. 
So in all that we are doing, let's use our sense. Do you understand? Uh -huh. If you've known me as a pastor for the past 20 years, I'm still one. Do you understand? So don't think that uh, Instagram life, mm -mm, I'm a full-blown pastor. And a full-blown doctor of behavioral psychology. Uh -huh. So there is sense, there is grace, and there is humor. So I don't do a cop on my wall. No. In case you are no longer, no, leave the women on my wall alone. If the spirit of drama is upon you, go to on blogs. Go and join other bloggers that will start their conversation with Twitter. Twi. Go deal. <laughs> don't do that one here. Aha, because I know all of you. I'm a full blown woman of God. So, I will see you at the Reparenting Your Inner Child workshop. Please check the conversation on the pinned post on my wall. Conversation tied to see me. Please um, ch send the check the conversation on the post tied to see me and then be a part of the conversation this month. You should just send me a DM. You should be in that class. Everything I do is money back guarantee. If you've known me for so long, I am more interested in your growth. To be honest, I have nothing to sell to you. I just want you to be able to see your life a year or two, six months, three months and say to yourself, I have grown and you are excited and you are happy. Thank you for sharing your life with me again. I will see you at the Reparenting Your Inner Child workshop. Send me a DM if you are interested. I hope you're good. Have a fantastic, 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 lovely, lovely, lovely holiday. It's a long holiday and you should enjoy yourself. Um, have conversations. Be respectful in the DMs. The workshop is not free. It is $175. There's absolutely no way we're going to reparent our inner child for free. You know, um, trauma costs money. Every day we do not fix our trauma. It is costing us relationships, costing us friendship, costing us our peace, and then costing us more money. Because ego will make you lose your profit. Ego will make you lose businesses. Ego will make you lose conversations. It will make you lose relationships, everything. So please check my wall. Um, it is for three days, two hours on each day. So please check my wall. The details are there. You can also send me a DM. It is $175 to join. A while ago, I actually gave out um, two slots at a discounted rate because somebody wanted to pay for the discounted rate. So instead of $175, it was $140. So if you are interested, you can send me a DM. Um, interested and want to attend so please don't just send me a DM to come and greet me and then you now keep quiet I'm an elderly person please all the details are on my wall if you want to join that means you are sending me a DM if you are not ready to join just be playing on my wall please I'm an elderly person a journey to your long you know so um, I will see you at the reparenting your inner child workshop People won't sponsor you for your growth and development. You should invest in yourself. My personal philosophy is, if you can't invest in yourself, who should invest in you and why should they invest in you? Whatever has to be sold to arrive at that change and development, you should do it. You should do it. Some of us sold a lot of things to be where we are today and we're still selling things. You know, so if you have to do that to be able to play a bigger game and get a shift, you must do it. There's a price for growth. There's a price for development. No matter what anybody gives you for free, be assured that free does not give you that level of achievement that you need. Go and ask questions. Do you see how Ronaldo trains and Messi and Serena Williams Viola Davis, Will Smith, they are not training for free. It costs blood and work and it costs a lot of money. So invest in yourself if you take yourself seriously. But it depends on you, my darling. So I will see you in class. Have a fantastic and beautiful long weekend. Send me a DM to register for the reparenting your inner child workshop there's a 20 percent discount but i have to do the payment for that discount because the other one that they gave us 
you know, um, that somebody wanted to pay for, two people have taken the slot. So any slot I give her now, which is just a slot, just one, I have to balance, you know, um, out with the team. I've done a lot of work. Anybody, Emmanuel is here. He's known me for at least um, 2003 till now, 19 years. When I was a pastor in school, I was the number one female pastor, not because of anything, but what was, what was, it, what was different with us was the level of work we put in it. Emmanuel the Great was one of the leaders in the choir and music ministry, and he's such a fantastic and anointed singer. We would pray every Saturday. We slept in church. Like all through my pastoring years, I slept in church every Saturday into Sunday because we were always praying. We give them a run. We will go into the bush to pray. We would have workers meeting, Bible study. We would fast, we would pray. Like who we are today is the foundation of who we were. Even in the rain, we would pray. Emmanuel is here. You can ask him, go into his DM. I went to Olabison of Andrew University. I was pastor in of the Springs of Life Fellowship, which is soft. We didn't have an excuse. He even put it there. There's no born lower to have an excuse because I didn't have one. I will show up, ask anybody, even in my team now. There's a member of my team watching me live now. I mean, at Emotion City. Anything I tell you to do, I have done it. That was everybody's foundation. We didn't joke with God, and we're still not joking with God. We treated the gospel like we were on salary. And that is the same way I treat life now. No excuse works. What has to be done has to be done. If you want to play, play. If you want to grow, grow. Life is not grown on social media. Go and ask every achiever, all those people you call your role model. Go and ask them about how much work goes behind the scene. How much work goes behind the scene. Do you understand? Like it is work. I told someone, I said, you should be surprised if I wasn't successful today. I've always had this mindset. Social media didn't make me a success. When we were in school, people knew us. We were like people knew us on campus. Go and ask anybody, Pastor Incon of Springs of Life Fellowship, solve. Go and ask them. The devil knew we were on ground. Prostitutes and court members knew we existed. I grew the church from my living room, two people, to a size of 400. Go and ask. I was small and tiny, but we were terrorists and we were terrorizing every demonic thing. Do you understand? So people cannot be surprised that I'm successful today. Everybody knows. Anybody who knows my name. I wrote my first book when I was 17. The Teenage Christian. I will be 38. So I've had sense for a while. You can ask Emmanuel, we were moving halls and the rate at which we were growing. We, we were using our money to fund the gospel and nobody was hypnotizing, manipulating, including my money. We enjoyed it because we knew what we were doing. It is the same energy we are using now. Why am I online today having this free conversation? All the badges they bought, they are less than $2. Do you understand? It's not paying any bill in the U.S. If you live in the U.S., you know that in a month you are on three to five thousand, depending on where you live and what you do. So it's not no, but this is our life. This is what we're doing. So if you are going to grow, you will bleed. And when I say bleed, it's not killing or whatever. No, you are going to push yourself out of your comfort zone. Enough of this and who will give me free tickets and who will do this one? Mm -mm. Free money? No. No. Some of us have too many clothes. We should sell like half so that we can invest in our personal development. Presently, I have just about seven shoes and maybe four bags. Me, that can practically afford anything that I want. Do you understand? But no, I'm not going to do it. Is it a problem if people do it? No. No! So if it works for you to have 100 shoes, go for it. It doesn't work for me. I'm a minimalist by nature, so I just buy what I need. And I enjoy life. I enjoy life. If you visit my house and stuff, you will know that, ah, I enjoy life. 
because I mean, I'm not going to heaven as a, as a promise. I'm doing heaven on earth. Do you understand? I'm operating through heavens. I come from heaven every morning. So let's push ourselves to grow. I remember one day somebody was saying, oh, that's your therapy services. So if you want to work with me, it starts from $1,000. There's nothing that can change the price. Nothing. So I thought somebody was saying to me that, oh, I have very expensive this and that. I said, compared to what? Like, compared to what? It's like saying a private jet is expensive. There's economy ticket. I said, some of us paid as high as $50,000 for coaching for a year. $50,000. Yeah. One of my friends hired someone to coach him for three hours, $120,000. That's how much he paid. When you see where your life is going, you won't see investment in yourself as cost. You will see it as profit. It's lack of self-respect that will make you think that personal development is cost. It is profit. Meaning you are the greatest treasure. Anywhere they throw you, you will succeed. There's no country I go to that I don't succeed. I once ran a company called Merchant of Romance. I was successful as the head of Merchant of Romance. I was successful as a pastor. You know the reason why I am the success? I am the industry. Anywhere they throw me, I survive. Because my head is full. My head is there. Inflation can be inflating itself. I am not affected. In the inflation, I am still charging a thousand dollars. If you slide into my DM for one on one, it starts from a thousand dollars. No matter the emergency that you have, people who have entered before just fainted there. It's a thousand dollars, no matter the emergency. I am telling you, so people have hated me because of it. Even Jesus was hated, so it's okay. <laughs> Do you understand? I'm not your love rice. You'll be fine. When people can't use you, they will fight you. And it's understandable. In the pandemic, to work with me starts from $1,000. Some people pay as high as $25.30. To work with me one-on-one, -on -one, to get on my booking schedule, is $1,000 upwards. People have stopped talking to me because of that, and it's totally fine. We will meet in future. Muji Koka, when are you going to send me allowance money? You are too pretty not to bless me. Muji Koka. You don't know that I'm probably even praying for you. Moji. So, reparenting your inner child workshop is like a shortcut to working with me, which is a group of people. So, the reparenting your inner child workshop, 30 of us will be together virtually, not in my house, so virtually for three days, two hours each, and we'll be having healthy conversation. You can ask me any questions. Once you miss that reparenting your inner child workshop, which is $175, but I will pay 20% of the fees for the first person who sends me a DM. So it's just $140. If it's in Naira, that's $80,000. You can check see me story on my wall. Just one person. Please just check the flyer, reparenting your inner child. Just go on my wall and check it a bit. Thank you. It's just one person. One person. Imagine me and you are in the US now, so if I can be doing it from the US, you can join now. <laughs> me and you are here now, it's in the evening. There's no time difference. Me and you are in the US, I'm in Dallas. I have left my past, I'm in Dallas. I was in one country that abused me. I was in an abusive relationship with a country. Ah, I fled. <laughs> yeah. Do you understand? So that reparenting your inner child workshop is the shortcut to talking and meeting good people, asking me any questions. After that, it is from a thousand upwards, a thousand dollars, and I don't collect naira. It's my, you know that naira, eh? Do you understand? I live abroad, though. People say it's 456. It's 356 where I am. Yeah, I think I'm in CDT. When you are abroad like this, you are in different time zones. <laughs> abroad is too powerful. I'm in CDT, yeah. I'm in 356. So, I will see all of us at the Reparenting Your Inner Child workshop. Please check the details on my flyer to sign up immediately to get 20% discounts. Please send me a DM. After that, please, we'll be gisting normally on Instagram. But like I said, you are the most important gift. Give yourself yourself. 
give yourself yourself oh i've been working on myself for at least 20 years Go, gone through pain gone through different levels of betrayal gone through so many other things but here we are today and i'm not one of those people that people will say that um, what's your success story and you say it's god no i will tell you my success story i have it documented the hours i invest in myself daily the books that i read the videos and the youtube handles the people that raised me the people who attempted to erase me and how I erased myself. Do you understand? And how much I spend on myself yearly, what I had to sell to be able to fix my brain. I have the success pathway. It's not God though. It's me and God. Uh, it's by grace. No, it's by grace and disgrace. I've gone through different layers of disgrace. It's by God's grace that we didn't die in it. Emmanuel can remember sometimes when we we'll go and preach, our car will stop. We'll be traveling up and down, worshiping God, doing all of those things. We have suffered since. I have a system that delivered the success. So don't let us be saying it's by the grace of God. No. Ah, Bao. It's me and God. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty. I love you guys. Enjoy your long holiday. Send me a DM to be part of the Reparenting Your Inner Child workshop. And remember to have a conversation with that friend of yours that you fell out with and you know that both of you are two good people a conversation can fix your relationship if that relationship and friendship is important to you please go after it have the conversation and when they come and meet you please at no point should you make it look like oh um, you are doing them a favor by reconciling with them or doing them a favor by being in their lives no Mutual respect is key in every relationship and in every friendship and in every conversation. Enjoy your weekend. Bye. Enjoy.